As you might know from our previous videos, Chandrayaan-3 is India's second attempt to land a spacecraft on the moon and explore its South Pole region, which is believed to hold clues about the origin and evolution of the solar system, as well as the possibility of water and life on the lunar surface. The mission consists of a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan, which touched down near the lunar South Pole on August 23, 2023. The two vehicles have completed their primary objectives of exploring the lunar surface and conducting scientific experiments. However, they have entered hibernation mode due to the onset of the two-week-long lunar night, during which they face extreme temperatures and darkness. The Indian Space Agency is still trying to establish contact with them and has not given up hope that they will wake up from their sleep and resume their activities. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about the Chandrayaan-3 mission. I will also answer some of the most frequently asked questions about this mission, such as, why did the lander and rover fail to leave any imprint of the Indian national emblem and the ESRO logo on the lunar soil? What does this mean for the discovery of water and human habitation on the moon? And what are the chances of reviving the mission after the lunar night? So stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. The first thing you need to know about the Chandrayaan-3 mission is that it is not an easy one. Landing on the moon is hard enough, but landing near the South Pole is even harder. The South Pole region is one of the most rugged and shadowed areas of the moon, with craters, mountains, and valleys that make navigation and communication difficult. Moreover, the South Pole region experiences extreme variations in temperature and illumination due to the moon's tilted axis. Unlike Earth, where day and night last for 24 hours each, on the moon, one day equals one month. That means that each lunar day and night lasts for about 14 Earth days. During the lunar day, the temperature can reach up to 120 degrees Celsius, while during the lunar night, it can drop to below minus 150 degrees Celsius. These extreme conditions pose a challenge for the survival and operation of any spacecraft that lands on the moon. That's why the Indian Space Agency prepared for this challenge by fully charging the batteries and orienting the solar panels of the lander and rover before putting them into hibernation mode on September 2nd and 4, respectively. Hibernation mode is a state where all non-essential systems are switched off to conserve power and protect them from freezing or overheating. Only a few essential systems are kept on, such as heaters, sensors, timers, and transmitters. The idea is that when the sun rises again after two weeks of darkness, the lander and rover will receive enough solar power to wake up from their sleep and resume their activities. However, this is not a guarantee. There are many uncertainties and risks involved in this phase of the mission. For example, there is a possibility that some of the instruments or components may have been damaged due to extreme cold temperatures, cosmic rays, or lunar dust. Also, some of the systems may not function properly after being dormant for so long. There is another possibility that India may not be able to communicate with them due to interference or obstruction from other spacecraft or natural phenomena. However, the Chandrayaan-3 mission is not over yet. There is still hope that India can re-establish contact with the lander and rover and revive the mission after the lunar night. The lunar dawn is when the sun rises again on the moon after two weeks of darkness. This happened on September 22, 2023, for the Chandrayaan-3 mission. The lunar dawn offers a window of opportunity for India to communicate with the lander and rover and provide them with enough solar power to wake up from their hibernation mode and resume their activities. However, they are trying to communicate with the lander and rover using various methods, such as sending commands through radio waves or using other spacecraft or telescopes to detect signals or images from them. For example, India is using NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, and Deep Space Network, DSN, to scan the landing site and look for any signs of the lander and rover. They are also using the Giant Meter Wave Radio Telescope in India and the Green Bank Telescope in the US to listen for any radio signals from them. They are also using their own ground stations and antennas to send and receive messages from them. However, 
this is not an easy task. There are many challenges and difficulties involved in this phase of the mission. For example, there is a low probability of success, as the chances of the lander and rover surviving the lunar night are slim. There is also a limited time available, as the next lunar night will begin on October 6, 2023, which means that they have only two weeks to revive the mission. Another thing is that there is a lot of competition and interference, as there are many other spacecraft and satellites orbiting or landing on the moon, such as China's Chang-5, Russia's Luna-25, and Japan's SLIM. These spacecrafts may create noise or block signals from Chandrayaan-3. So as you see, there is a lot of uncertainty and unpredictability, as the moon is a dynamic and complex environment that may change or affect the conditions of the lander and rover. So why did the lander and rover fail to leave any clear imprint of the Indian national emblem and the Indian Space Agency logo on the lunar soil? This was one of the objectives of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, to demonstrate India's pride and presence on the moon. The lander and rover were equipped with special wheels that had patterns of the Indian national emblem and the Indian Space Agency's logo engraved on them. The idea was that as they moved on the lunar surface, they would leave behind these imprints for everyone to see. However, this did not happen. The images sent by the lander and rover showed no trace of these imprints on the lunar soil. Instead, they showed a smooth and flat surface with no sign of dust or disturbance. This puzzled India and the world. How could this be possible? What does this mean for the nature of the lunar soil? And what does this imply for the discovery of water and human habitation on the moon? The Indian Space Agency's chairman, Somanath, revealed that the reason for this was that the lunar soil is not dusty, but rather lumpy. He said that there is something that is binding the soil together, making it more cohesive and compact than expected, and this could be a clue for the potential discovery of water or human habitation on the moon. He added that water molecules could act as a glue that holds the soil particles together, or that human activities could have altered or compacted the soil over time. Somanath emphasized that further investigation and analysis of the lunar soil samples collected by the Chandrayaan-3 mission would reveal more details about this finding. This finding has huge implications and significance for the Chandrayaan-3 mission and for our understanding of the moon. It means that the Chandrayaan-3 mission has made a new discovery that could change our perception of the lunar environment and history. It also means that the Chandrayaan-3 mission has opened new possibilities for finding water or life on the moon, which could have profound implications for future exploration and colonization. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the Chandrayaan-3 mission, India's moon mission in hibernation. This mission is a testament to India's space exploration and scientific advancement, as well as a source of inspiration and curiosity for the world. We hope that India will succeed in reviving the mission and continuing to explore the mysteries and secrets of the moon. Thank you for watching this video and supporting our channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest uploads. Until next time.